one big company that I worked for, it was a rule that you could not date another employee. You just couldn't. Unless they worked at another station, another market. Like, I could have dated a guy in Chicago. That would have been fine. But I can't date anybody in my office. So everybody knew not only was this one guy who was in programming and this girl who was in promotions dating, they'd been together for a long time. And people were saying that they secretly got married. Would they show up to work at the same time in the same car? No, because they worked different hours. They Uh, had different shifts. They had different, everything was different. They had two separate cars, two separate lives. They did a very good job of keeping their relationship separate. And if you went to a station event, you would never know they even knew each other. Most jobs, you spend 12, 14 hours a day at that job. I, even the ugly coworker, I, I think, becomes a little attractive <laughs> after right. you spend so much time with them. Yeah, you get to know somebody. See, that's good evidence for why it's more than just physical attraction. So we'll throw that out there to you guys. What do you think? I mean, as far as office romances go, do you think it's a good idea or a bad idea? Have you ever done it? We'd love your opinion on office romances. Now, Bethany, you say that you had coworkers that not just fell in love, but they got married. They had a real relationship, right? Yeah, they met uh, 13 years ago and mm. had been had married about a year later. They were both previously married, but... Um, you know, they met here where we work and have been happily married for 12 years. Well, have you ever seen them fight at work? Because, you know, couples fight all the time. They must fight at work, too. I've never seen them in, in an argument or fight or anything of the, of the such. Thank you so much, Bethany. Now, Deja, you say you dated somebody at your job, but it didn't go well, right? We were working at a fast food restaurant together. Mm-hmm. And then it just we will have these big arguments at work because uh-huh. he would be looking at other women or of doing course. other things and it even got so <laughs> bad one day that a girl was outside and I was taking an order through the drive through mm-hmm. and I just threw my headset down and went outside and started no! fighting. Did you get fired for that? Yeah, that's what got me fired but then <laughs> on down we went and worked somewhere else together and that was horrible too. So you're still together? No, we're divorced now. <laughs> oh, we stay married six years. So what's your advice to people listening? Do not work together. It's not going to work. All right. Thank you, Deja. (laughs) Yeah. So when you guys start fighting all the time at work, somebody's going to have to quit. Right. That's the problem. You know, I once I was once in that situation. I wasn't taking the job seriously and I started dating. Wait, not just a coworker, but my boss. Nah. OK, I was dating the <laughs> boss because I didn't care. You know, I didn't care. And then as time went on, I realized that I really loved this radio station. I really loved this job. And the boss dude, my boyfriend, said, you know, listen, this is getting more serious. I don't think it's right for you to continue working mm-hmm. and us to continue dating. Mm hmm. So choose. Well, he was saying so he was about to say, so I think it's time for you to quit. And I said, (laughs) so I guess we should break up. (laughs) Like we we basically said at the same time, he was like, wait, what? (laughs) Yeah, I realized at that moment that I really loved radio and I really liked this station and that that was more important to me than he was. (laughs) So I broke up with him and he thought I was going to I was going to quit. Meetings have got to be hell after that because he's never going to like anything you do on the air he's going to air check you all the time and go no that sucked you sucked it's gonna it's gonna be hell no he was he was the owner he was like the owner of of the station and stuff like that so it wasn't it wasn't he wasn't going to air check me Mm -hmm. no i mean he was cool about it he was he understood and he was actually happy that he had somebody that was so such a dedicated employee i mean you know and look if I didn't love him like that, he, he didn't want, you know, it's, it's better for him. It, it turned out really great for both of us. Uh, yeah, you were a very dedicated employee. We'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> very dedicated. Very dedicated, yeah. No, but now that I look back, I realize I didn't take the job seriously, so it was okay. But now, if I got into radio, I mean, I don't care if, like, Timothy Oliphant was my boss and was like, okay, we're getting married. I would say, no, no, mm-hmm. stay. Go away. I I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, screw it up anymore. I wouldn't screw it up. No way.